Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be unboxing the IB printer. This is an entry-level SLA LCD printer from Unis. Um, it is the ability for consumers of every kind to bring high precision, high volume, large volume printing into the house. So let's get on with it. So as per always, Eunice thoroughly wraps their printers. They are unbelievably well-packed printers. I've seen quite a lot of people unboxing printers online. Um, a lot of the times it's quite difficult the way that they're unboxing it, the way that the boxes are designed and manufactured. UB does something different, or rather Unis does something different. And this is standard in all of their printers, which is if you actually pay attention to where it says to open here, you will find that there is a really nice flap here that allow you to pull the printer out in one go. And so there you have it. We've pulled out the printer. And so now actually let's start unboxing. So a bit about the printer, it's fairly heavy for the type of printer it is because it's actually cast aluminum that has been CNC uh, with uh, metal sheeting as well for structural support. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so here we go. Printer top, the lid is actually quite robustly packed. These are pretty solid cardboard, uh, compressed cardboard. Up, uh, yep, and here we have the user manual. And I'm sure there's gonna be the warranty cards and things of that nature in there. All right, so let's get this off. And there you have it, we've got the lid. Put that aside. Right. We'll get back to this. Okay. So as you can see, it's actually quite strongly built. The gantry system on this printer is pretty fantastic. It's solid. All right. I guess we can pull out the build platform. So this is the build platform. So in a lot of consumer level printers and even professional printers, you will find that the platform usually has a bevel. It actually you know, uh, tapers up to a higher point. But Unis has decided to go slightly differently for um, the build platform for this printer. And it's flat. It's an interesting take on the situation. I'm sure there's reasons behind it and I'm sure it'll help later on. Okay. Ah, okay, here we have accessories and resin bottle. So let's go ahead and uh, should I just put this aside, we'll go over that in a bit. All right. There we go. And that's the printer. I guess we're gonna Oh goodness, that is a heavy printer. Let's see. Oh no. And there you have it, the IB. Okay, so let's go over what all these things are. Okay, so we're, let's start here. So we've got a 4.3 inch um, LCD front panel. Ah, very cool. I like this lock bolts for this printer. This is something different. Oh wow. Can you hear that? That is an extremely hardy tank. Really tight film as well. 
Okay, so not sure if you can see, but then over here you've got an amazingly nice, nicely sealed LCD panel. Um, overall, it's actually quite impressive. This printer is solidly built. Everything is solid. Let's actually take a look at the back. Let's see all the connection ports and everything that we have. Uh, okay, so straight away right here, we've got a USB port. This is where you can transfer files via a flash drive. We've got the fan, the ventilator fan here. We've got an Ethernet connection. I'm sure we can uh, give you some close-ups later on. Um, and then your on and off switch and adapter for your power supply. All right. Let's, uh, let's look into some of these boxes, shall we? Packaging, so much packaging. It's good though, your printer arrives safely. Right. So we've got um, the ZMUD resin. This is Unisys later cons latest consumer level resin. It's a general purpose resin and you get a uh, free half bottle, half liter bottle. Got the adapter for the printer. We'll turn it on a little bit. Got the standard shovel for scraping your prints off the build platform. You've got sandpaper for sending uh, your platform if you're having adherence issues sometimes. You've got five uh, scraping cards, you could say, for uh, resin, moving resin around, uh, mixing it about, if you wish. You've got a hexagon wrench. Oh, that's cool. Uh, flash drive. That's pretty. That's a pretty nifty flash drive. Looks like a one-piece CNC as well. Excellent. I've got some spare screws, and they look very similar to the screws that are on the IB. I imagine it's uh, for when you're sort of maintaining your printer yourself, um, and you happen to maybe strip the screw. You've got spares, so you've got them covered that way. This, this is something new. So the IB for the price point um, that it comes in at, it has its own wireless network, a wireless uh, connection point. This is something that's uh, not very common in most consumer level printers. You usually have to transfer your files via ethernet or at best a uh, flash drive. So this is very cool. And I imagine it actually goes here at the back here. Um, we'll, we'll show you pictures later. Uh, I guess it just, um, Rolls in. We've got, we've got some nitrile gloves and some cloth. I imagine this is microfiber cloth to make sure that there's no scratching on uh, the items that you're actually uh, wiping with. And then last, well, second to last, we've got a sample print. This is quite standard for Unis printers. They always send you a print that they've done on the print on your printer itself before it's actually left. Um, the manufacturing center. So is there a commitment to QC to sort of show you that, hey, your printer can definitely print out of the box. Um, but this is a pretty fantastic um, die, you could say. I think it's a 20-sided die, potentially. Yep, it's pretty cool. It's intricate, but this is quite standard for Unis products, Unis printers, because they are some of the best, most precise, accurate, cheap printers out there on the market right now. And then last but not least, we have a little bit of a new innovation. It's called an assist plate. So this, you're supposed to utilize this uh, when you're actually changing out the, uh, the film layer on your VAT tank because you know, the whole sort of value proposition with this printer is it's supposed to be affordable, entry level, consumable, uh, consumer level, right? So I think let's get to that now. So let's see about the films. Okay, so Whoa. Okay, so standard you have 
four films here. These are essentially to protect your LCD panel. So there are films that you can actually switch out if you actually encounter any sort of um, scratching, whatnot, in uh, use. So you've got five of those, and this is quite common for Unis printers. They these things are very cheap, so they provide you know a lot of them for you. You've got your user manual, and honestly, I can tell you guys that Unis does fantastic jobs with a user manual. Pretty much. Anything that you probably have to do with your printer, it sort of explains to you on how to utilize it. Um, so definitely worth checking out, right? Don't just uh, do as a lot of us do, just put it away as soon as we uh, unbox something. And then, yep, these are spare VAT films. So they've provided uh, five VAT films that you can go ahead and change yourself. And I think they've also provided like a a bit of an instruction sheet, introduction to change the resin tank film. Yep, that's exactly right. Yep, so a little bit of that. And all of this information is available online on Unis's website. And Unis's support pages for their different printers is pretty fantastic as well. Um, it's worth checking out if you're having any issues with any of your Unis printers. And then last, or almost, we have a detailed packing list. This is always good to have. So you can just double confirm you've received everything that you've paid for, that everything that um, Eunice has promised you. Uh, and then, yep, we have the warranty card, right? So definitely worth sort of um, keeping this because this will give you, you know, your factory manufacturing warranty, international warranty. Um, I do believe it's up to one year for uh, most Eunice products. And then last but not least, we have a happy not happy card. So I guess it's just Eunice letting you know that, look, if you're unhappy, go ahead and uh, leave a complaint. But if you're happy, share that as well. And that pretty much takes us through all of the things that come with the Eunice. And so now I'm going to leave you with the total printer. So I'm just going to put it together, so to speak. All right. So first, we're going to start with the sort of Wi-Fi antenna. So it's very straightforward. What's really nice about it is you can actually swivel it. That's pretty neat. The next thing I'll put in is the tank. And again, I'm, I'm in awe at this, this tank. It's excellent. Bolt it in. There we go. Oops. And you've got the resin. Now, before I turn it on, I'm going to go ahead. Plug it in. And there we go. So we have unboxed and put together the Unis IB printer. I hope you learned something and I hope it was interesting. It's a fantastic printer, we can highly recommend it. Thanks.